Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Lucky Town, a dice-based tower defense game. So, yeah, it's up my alley. We're going to check it out right now. It is made by Sock Pop. You may know they put out a monthly game. They make a new game every single month. Their Patreon, they've got like a catalog of like 90-something games now. It's ridiculous. But in, we shall go to check this out, Lucky Town. It's it's the one of theirs that I've been most excited to check out in a long time. So let's see. Welcome to Lucky Town. Let's start with rolling some dice. Press space or click the roll dice button. Okay. Enemies will be coming for your palace soon. If it fail, if it falls, you will lose. We should get some basic defenses, but first we need a house. For house, we need wood and life, and we have one wood now. Click on the dice with wood to hold it. Okay, now roll the remaining dice again. Okay. Click on the house in the building's window to build a house and place it somewhere where there are no plants or rocks nearby. Okay. Can't be plants or rocks nearby. So why is this not allowed? I guess nearby means like not even anywhere near close. Is there, like, literally only one spot? I'm just curious. I'm just boundary testing here. Now let's build an outpost. Outposts shoot arrows at enemies, but need adja an adjacent house to operate. Luckily, we already have the right resources available, so go ahead and build one right next to the house we built. Okay. Outpost hosts an archer, max two for each connected house. Shoots an arrow per archer each turn. One wood, one fight. So it's got to be completely adjacent. You can see what the next wave will be on the top right corner if you click on the wave. Uh, it, they will come immediately and you get a bonus one-use dice as a reward. Okay, that's very interesting. Two glass dice. So there are like literally one use there. Gotcha. So if we roll them, do they go away? Like, is this the use and they rolled life or d does it not count yet? That's all you need to know for now. Good luck. Okay. Okay, so it does not count it. All right. Uh, farm. Produces a single-use farm dice after five turns. We'll start growing again when the dice is used. So that's the only thing we can make here. Like, by single-use, does it mean single? Like, if I roll, will they break? Okay, so they move every time we roll the dice. Interesting. Keep holds two archers. For each connected house, shoots an arrow per archer each turn. I mean, it seems we need a house to operate. We'll destroy buildings. Sure, we'll just give that a go. Okay, we have a sniper tower. What the heck is going on there? Hops over one tile when moving. Very underwhelming otherwise. Actions. Cut. Deal five damage to everything on a tile. Useful for cutting grass or even rocks. Okay. Five damage. Uh, shoot an arrow per outpost and keep to a random tile in a three by three tile area. Okay. Let's hold this. Let's try and make ourselves another house here. I mean, maybe we'll want to... Oh, what else could we possibly even get? We could we could maybe get enough to make a house. Build, build. What the heck do we want to make? We got the workshop needs a connected house. Produces a single-use engineering dice after four turns. They have special resources. Steel, cog, and energy. Oh, my God. Uh, and energy will start creating another when the dice is used. Repairs three HP of all buildings in range every turn. Okay. I feel like right now, just getting another house is a good call. Like, that should probably be of the uh, highest priority. So we could we could build one here. And then theoretically, we'll might, we might be able to build something here. But uh, we'll roll the die. Do we cut this rock, get rid of it? Could keep the... Let's see. I want to make a keep. Requires two stone is the other thing. So the, the diamond is, is stone. All right. We'll keep those for a sec. 
because I would like to make... I mean, a sniper tower would be cool. It requires two steel, though, which we need a workshop for. What do we need for this? What does this do? Uh, it creates a magic die. They have three spells. Sun, moon, and skull. Nothing we need right now. Okay, we can make an outpost. Holds an archer and shoots an arrow per connected or yeah, 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 for each connected house. Should we do it? Let's do it. What do we got now? We can hold that still. We could make a farm. I don't know what that does for us. Uh, again, it just gives us a farm dice. I don't know what a farm dice does. Does it just have a bunch of plants on it? I don't know. I'm just ready to see this. Okay, so you, I, I wanted to see how good of a job they did on their own there. I feel like holding dice for a long time is just not proving to be a good idea. All right, so we can make another outpost. That is exactly what I wanted to do. We'll destroy... Why will this destroy buildings? Is it a two-tile tall thing? It's a two-tile tall thing. It just doesn't really look like it would be. Gotcha. Let's just say screw that. Let's just go for it. Okay, you're getting all the way... Wait, you're, you're like really getting in there. What the heck? Uh... Needs a connected house to operate. I don't know, man. That Maybe that will repair my house. Because it technically overlaps with it. Does it repair my, my palace? Oh my god, we have so much stuff going on here that we're unlocking. Okay, well that guy's wrecked. Those guys, not so much. Arrow rain, ran, an arrow per outpost and keep to a random tile in a three by three area. So we might not even like hit them. Deal five damage. How much health do you have? Eight. Okay. I'm gonna cut. 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 We'll just do that for now. The swords are quite nice. How, is there a way we can produce like tiles or, or, or dice that have more swords by chance shoots one arrow that deals eight damage can hit every tile the sniper and s can see so yeah we have the workshop which is going to be producing one single use engineering dice after four turns they have three special resources steel cog and energy all right we'll see here but this guy should get more or less kind of messed up Another house, sure. In fact, what if we built it a little closer here? Sure. We could do another house. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's do like a like a big setup phase because we should be f fine here. Yeah, it's, it's a little spooky. We could get another workshop. Do we want another workshop? Does that matter to us really? I don't know if that's really of uh, importance. So that requires a sun tile. We need the manier for that. Powder keg. Oh, so these are all just traps. Produces a farmer with a pitchfork that automatically attacks grounded enemies. Wood and hammer. That might be something to go for. That may be something to go for. I'm really interested in the keep, though. Let's just roll this, see what happens here. New dice. We got a steel die. Um, but we, we actually can't do anything with it yet. We could roll it and hope for, like, a, what, what else is on there? It's energy and cog. We don't need cog for anything. I could make a claw trap. I actually like that idea because then that goes back into the used and we can start generating another one. Okay. Ah, works faster the greater distance it has to other buildings. Oh, does this not need... It does. This doesn't need to be connected to a house. Oh, well, would you look at that. 
I just, every, everything else needed to be connected to a house. So I just, I just assumed that this did too. It's okay. It, it still works. It's just not going to be as effective. Gotcha. It's fine. And we have this trap here. We can make a powder keg. Not too worried about that right now. Tool shed. Keep. I kind of want another workshop. Ooh. Ooh. That seems seems useful. Another outpost. Sure. This is pretty neat. This is pretty neat. Tool shed. Produces a farmer with a pitchfork that automatically attacks grounded enemies. Yeah, that'll be kind of like a last line of defense. Oh my god, we've, we've unlocked more. Oh my god. Fence. Feeble, but gets the job done. Okay, this is looking spooky. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, he actually, like, he heads out there. He gets out there, and he actually just does the darn thing. Give me a sword. Hearts. Okay, we got the steel. There's nothing to use the steel on right now, except, I guess, like, another claw trap we could go for. I feel like, yeah, there's no need to stockpile our steel until we get another workshop. We need another workshop for it to make sense. So... I'm really looking for a sword. Not getting lucky with that. All right, we should probably just build something. Ooh, we got the special die there from the minier. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Okay. I don't know what we can do with this. We have the moon. That might be like a... Maybe there's a one tile or a one die face thing we can do with that. There is not. Fence feeble. Gets the job done. Very vulnerable to fire damage. There's another outpost. I mean, another tool shed is interesting. Can we do both? No. Get another outpost for now. Do I want to save anything? Uh, I kind of want to save and make another workshop. I don't know that we're going to be able to defend ourselves properly here. So maybe we may be out of luck. There's the, there's the workshop. Hey. So it repairs things in a specific radius. Oh, we can also, for two hammers, we can repair. This game is really cool. This is really cool. It, this is, uh, looks like they really went mechanically quite deep on this game, which I'm not saying that Sock Pop never does that. I'm just saying, like, they. it seems like they have some games that you can tell that they really are just super into and i could tell that this is one of them this is so cool and the, like the amount of stuff that keeps getting unlocked here is 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 massive so we have two men ears men hairs men hairs i don't know man it's not a word i'm familiar with i'm i'm shock awe increase the range of all towers in a two tower radius by one doubles the damage dealt to enemies with a bounty that are in range of the beacon what does that mean uh, I kind of want to keep that, though. Beacon. Does it need to be put down in a two-tile radius? How big? It's a one by two. So, for example, is this a one by two? So, it's the same thing. So, we could put it, like, here, and then these would have a bigger range. We put it here. So, sure, let's keep the sun. I'm kind of... I'm curious about that. It also would block off that path, so they're more likely to have to go through this spot. Claw Trap Outpost. Let's put a Claw Trap there so they can't sneak up through that way. What else are we looking for? Kind of want to farm, I guess. Like... I'm very curious what a farm die is. I don't know what a farm die is. The tool shed is neat too. Trebuchet needs a connected house. Uh, throws a long range projectile every five turns. It does 10 damage. It's just a very slow, powerful attack. I'm 
Okay, the trap den disappears. It's destroyed. Cast illusions on this plant to distract enemies and either bomb damage. Deals five ice damage and freezes ground enemies every two turns. So that's like a more permanent little thing there. I'm curious about what a give me a give me a farm. Okay. Got the sun die there, which we don't need to keep. Needs a house to operate. A sword? We don't have a sword. Sure, that's good enough. Okay, so hopefully that'll give us some good stuff later. We got a windmill and a market. Oh my god. Doubles the growth speed of adjacent farms. Okay, produces one gold dice after spending at least 10 resources. We'll start creating another. Holy moly. This game is, yeah, it's going hard. We definitely don't need two um, sons. Don't want to hear that if you are the second born. Okay, we don't have any... Oh, God. We, we rolled nothing. Uh, I tell you what. Screw this, then. Let's go for that. Let's save that. So we, we want to try and get some kind of trap, if, not, if nothing else. Okay, cool. So we have we have enough to make two ice spires. Five ice damage and freezes enemies in range every two turns. Will they attack this? It seems like they might. It's not too concerning, though, actually. Charmer. Converts enemies temporarily to fight for your side. Yeah. It's a long time. Okay, what's the uh, radius again? Okay. So if we put it there, I don't know. It's, it's a little funky. It's a little funky. I'm just very curious. Shield generator provides a defensive layer to all buildings in range, reducing damage taken by 50%. That rock was gone. Uh, so what's the shield generator? This and this. Let's do that. And hopefully we roll the sword and we can break that rock. Because, yeah, I want to protect these... Um, these ice towers. Okay, so let's cut down a rock. And we put a shield generator here. That should count as being in range. Oh, this game is so cool! You're almost dead. You're going to be. All right. So what do we want? I kind of want to get that range upgrade thing, which was a lightning coil. Zaps anything that passes between this coil and another coil in the same room. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, let's go for. What was it? Grow speed. There's so many things. What was the one that increases the range? Beacon. All right, so that's a full roll. Should we, we might as well cut though. There's no reason not to. New die. So there's the farmer die. It's got, it's got everything. Okay. Right. Okay. So if we want to pick up, we could get like, we're gonna go for a workshop. There's nothing we can do with this stuff right now. We could keep we could keep everything and try and go for a market. But like, what are the odds? And also, do we care? Hmm. Interesting. Is this under fire? No. Wait, is that... Oh, is that frozen? Wait, can I hurt myself? Or is it shielded? They're shielded. Okay, it's just less noticeable on these. Understood. There's so many options. There's just like an unbelievable amount of options. Uh, 
I hope we get the beacon, I guess. If not, we'll, we'll kind of see what we can do here. House. We can make another house. Another house is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, if they're, if they're forced to go through here or here, mostly, then they will be going into our, our radius here. Uh, part of me wants to just try and get another farm. I don't know, man. Some swords. We can work with the, some, some swords. Goblin with hat. Look at all this. Okay, we should be able to make something. Uh, keep holds two archers. For each connected house, max four. Destroy build. I don't really want it to destroy the building. Keep would require everything. It's fine. Do it. This keep is useless back there. Absolutely useless. Uh, I kind of want another tool shed. We save the leaf. Nah. Nah. Got a cog. I don't know if we have much that utilizes the cog right now. I don't think I... Okay, trebuchet is the one that uses the cog. It's a one by two. So it's the same thing. It's a, it's a two, t two, st two tile tall. I would think a trebuchet would be wider. Big part of me wants it, though. I'll tell you what. We got a pretty good setup for getting some kind of cool... Uh-oh, goblin airship. Some kind of cool farm-related thing. It's a little dicey. This is very dicey. This is... This is trash. Um... Same deal, we'll put that there. I guess, you know what? It's not time for this. We need to have, we need to get more sword related stuff. Holy moly. Yikes. That is a colossal yikes and probably a, a colossal wipe. Okay, so we have arrow rain. We could do some wild stuff there. HP 100. Probably. What? Did it hit? He oh my god. That sucks. That move sucks. That cost three? Did it hit here, here, and here or something? What a terrible use of three swords that move is. Wow. All right. Well, we're, gonna, well, we're probably going to die. Obviously, cut just a standard cut would have been a better use right there. Tis what tis. Uh, we can make another ice spire. At this point, I, I do think it would be a good idea. Powder keg. I don't want it to blow up our structures, so we'll, we'll see what that is like. There's the cannon tower, fence. Go the other way. <laughs> I'm sure you can fly over it, but now at least everybody's going to be funneled in and they won't be able to, like, fully move in. Wall. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, that, yeah, we're dead there. That guy's nuts. Another outpost, probably. Probably worth, but probably not there. Huh. 
Yeah, we can't we can't break this tile and put down the outpost. fine. And by fine, I mean we are screwed. Okay, there. We're, we're starting to do some damage to him before we inevitably go kaput. Um. Nothing really. Another claw trap. I don't think it's gonna do anything to a flying enemy. I really, I really don't, but I'm just going to put it down because who knows? I'm so desperate that we're just doing these flat rolls just all over the place. So, okay. So we'll get the goblin right beneath him at the very least. So that's something. I guess we should be like doing the next to get the extra stuff. I, I, oh my God. Final. I mean, we can finally get a beacon. A little late. Theoretically, it's getting those as well. So is it increasing the range of this, but then this aura is the things, like, the enemies that uh, have a bounty take double damage? Is that, which which thing is it? I don't know, man. Oh, bother. Spence worth it. Might as well. Oh my god. No hope. No freaking hope. I, I'd say at this point, sure, yeah. Give me another... Give me another tool shot. I don't know where I could even put this son of a gun right now. I'd want to put it here, but there's a man there. Sure, we'll break that. Great. What could possibly go wrong? What's an illusory plant do for us? Cast illusions on this plant to distract enemies. I... How do I cast illusions? Unlock spells that you can cast in the vicinity of all floating tomes. Oh my god. It just keeps getting deeper. Man is dying slowly but surely. And I'm so desperate, I'm just going to keep on dumping stuff down. Should I do this? I'm desperate. I hate it, but I'm desperate. Spells, treasure illusion, distracts all humanoid and smart enemies. Uh, all beast enemies. Are these humanoids? Hmm. Flying enemies. I'm assuming it's a humanoid, so let's... These are all humanoids. That's my guess, so I'll keep that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sure. Screw it. We just keep the repairs up. It looks like we might be okay. We've lost a lot in the process, but we might end up being okay. Another tool shed. Let's give it a go. Sure. Shield generator, cool. Do it. 
that okay that protects our house our, our palace as well i can't believe that what are you doing man okay Screw you, Arrow Rain. 80 HP. You know what? Fine. Did a little something. I do think it's trash, though. Seems like cut is just the way to go, unless you have... Unless you have, like, an obscene amount of... Um... Like, absolutely obscene amount of, of, of outposts. This needs help. How we get towards repairing food illusion? I don't think we need to care about that right now. Another tool shed? We could. There seem, they seem to be doing stuff. Like, they're kind of... the Our helpful men? I don't mind if I do. Do you want to get towards making a new house? That might be something as well. It's so so powerful what we just did. Mm. Those bombs though. The bombs though. Another outpost maybe. So there's the house. I can't make a house and an outpost. Uh, do we have any? We don't have anywhere to put an outpost right now. I guess that solves it, doesn't it? So that actually does make that shoot an extra one, so that helps. Cool. they getting through they're going through there i guess i'm fine with this we'll just leave we'll leave that as a one tile bopper okay okay there's a keep don't mind if i do part of me wants to wreck that I'm a wild boy! So that's those two tiles. If we put a house here, that would connect to both of those too, wouldn't it? That's that's a that's an interesting concept. I would like to do it. We obviously need wood to make that happen. We've almost cleared things out here. We've almost cleared things out here. I don't think we need to do a food illusion. I think it's irrelevant. But uh, yeah, we're almost done with this wave. Yeah, look at that. That was huge. So we could build another house here, which, yeah, that buffs up both of those. Tool shed. Uh, I would like to get another keep. It's, it's irrelevant right now. We don't have to worry about it at the moment. build another outpost here and another house here, for example, too, then this thing would be stacked. So if we're building a house, or another an outpost here and a house here. We can't build that there right now. Can't do anything with the tool shed this turn, really. I could put this down preemptively. I guess that's a big thing. I could put it down preemptively. Uh, outpost outpost house i'll put it i'll put it here with the hopes that i make a house there you know i uh, will do this the house is doing okay ish okay house boom so this is doing super now and then we'll make another tool shed oh we got the tool shed there 
What do we have going on there? We don't, I kind of want to meddle so we could maybe make another out or another keep. Look at all those arrows now. Huge. Lamp illusion. I think it's fine. Let's just try and kill this thing. Wait. Oh, 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 that's kind of annoying. Yeah, he's like hurting our house. I can't. Okay, I can't. Gotcha. Can't do quite what I wanted to do with that. Okay. Keep the other. Oh, we. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I made a mistake. I didn't think it used our reserve. I thought, like, if we u put it in the reserve, it wouldn't use it up. Huge. God, that was, uh. That was a trek. That was a trek. Sure. I spire. You know, let's just let's just keep the stuff. We'll roll it. Maybe we can get a sword. I was looking for a sword, maybe, but hey, okay. Uh, we could probably make a workshop out of this, can't we? Yeah, we can make a workshop. I mean, I wouldn't mind another workshop, but I don't have anywhere to put it yet. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't need an extra house nor want it. Put this up here then the uh the minier is not going to like that. Start building out further, but I don't think that's a good call. Things are just going to start getting broken. I, I, just, I guess I just don't have a good clean spot for it, so sure. Get out there, men, and fight. So we'll cut that. Thank you. Ice Spire. I suppose here is fine. Powder keg, we'll just put that right out front. Cut. Uh kill a man. What do we yeah, what what, what tile do we want gone? I guess we could just start moving out forward here. So we get an extra die, a single use die to work with. Another beacon. Another beacon? Need a well, the beacon needs a house. I forgot about that. Sure, that's fine. Pretty sure there's a grass tile under there. Kind of want to make another house, kind of, sort of, a little bit. Too bad. I could repair something. Nah, don't care. Uh, I think we're fine. Got flying enemies. I would like to make another farm. You know what? That that's more. Well, okay. I'll, I will make a house. Oh god, it's an awkward. Awkward roll. If I put it here, I can preemptive. Like, I can just put it there with the hopes that we will break that rock in the future and that this man will get the hell out of my way. Okay. I do hope very much that man gets the hell out of my way. I will keep these because we might as well use them to make, like, an outpost or something. You guys, like... Oh my god, they blow up. Okay. Uh, cannon tower.
Oof. That's, uh, that's spooky. We don't, we don't really want that by any of our, any of our things at home. So. Oh my god, this is goofy. Oops. It's concerning. Okay, well we were able to do that. That That is nice. I feel like, you know what? Yeah, screw it. Screw that. I don't care. Let's get that down there. Uh, I changed my mind. Cannon tower doesn't make a lot of sense right now. We need the fast firing stuff. Tool shed. Honestly, you guys are kind of annoying me. At, at this point, they are just annoying me. Could have repaired something. Would have been no reason not to, I guess. Fence. Ice Spire. Another Ice Spire. Just make it so they have to go through this tunnel of absolute destruction. Uh, hit me with it. Hello, fish man. Throw harpoons from small distances. Farm, finally. Um... Yeah. Get rid of that garbage. Another outpost. Should I? I'm going to make a... Oops. Oh, that's kind of nice quality light there. I'm just going to do this and save that. Okay. Hello, farmer. Do you actually, like, help with the farm? Hmm. House. Yes. Sword. Armor. Or iron. Cool. There's another... Another outpost. I think we, um, or keep, I think we take the benefit of the double. I think we take the benefit of the double there. I think that's just too handy. Keep the stuff for the house, hopefully. I want to see these go. Yeah, see, look, look at that. That That is quite a bit of action right there. Post down there, I guess. But then we might want like a beacon, too. A beacon might be a good call. If we're going to be building it so low. We can put the beacon here. No joy. I should have kept it. We don't know what we're going to roll. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Another house. I, I, I mean, I can. Sure. Just build another fence right there, I guess. Oh, did that just... That man just broke my house. That makes sense. I, it makes sense. I, I'm annoyed by it, though. Uh, a shield generator. Can't build that while he's there. Oh, 
What is this? Crushes anything weaker than the damage it does. Oh! Oh! Will be stopped otherwise. Okay. I'm hoping that a wall... HP 100. Okay. That does help. That does help. I'll probably end up replacing that. Nice. Okay. That did work. It did work. I don't know that I'm going to get the stuff to build a wall again. I don't remember what it was uh, required to make it. Oof. How much is an outpost? Health-wise, 10. Oof. It's gonna it's gonna do some damage. Or is it? I think it's gonna go yeah, it's it's gonna just hit the shield generator and it's gonna fizzle. There's a rock every few turns. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly that was very lucky, and the the quick quick maneuvering on the rock was helpful. The house we can get that going and the house now has the armor or the shield generation so that's quite nice uh i really would like to get a beacon going i would like to build the wall up a little bit more too i guess but it's just not it's not gonna happen uh the question is does the shield reducing damage take it i don't know how that's going to quite work out that might be fine but I could also just put, like put a powder keg here. I can't. Uh, do we have two? I only have one of those. So I could powder keg here. Ah, it's annoying. I do want another workshop for what it's worth. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Ah, those are coming from them. Okay, so so the shield actually counts. Okay, that's huge. That's really nice. That's incredibly nice. Shield generator, that helps with that. So with that in mind... We can put that here, and it's that, that tile is going to be protected, and it will be okay. Okay, okay, okay. This game is so my jam. So unbelievably my jam. Okay. Something, I don't know. We don't really want the, to force them up that high because then we're, they're out of range, aren't they? It's hard to tell. Yeah. We can build a market. Does not need to be built by a house? Does need to be built by a house. Sometimes it just doesn't say. Uh, I don't care about that thing. Bounty higher by wood? Oh my god, look at this. Place a bounty on an enemy. On enemy with bounties gain higher priority. So there, that's what I was talking about. Okay. So that's... We, we are definitely still kind of wanting that beacon action going on. Where are we going to want to build something? Also, wait. That's not in range of the house! Oh, that's not in range of the house because this is not too tile. Gotcha. All right, well... We have a desire to fix that, obviously. We can just build that. No, we can't. Oh, God, that. No, we just beefed it. All right. Uh, what was it for the uh the the the, 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 the beacon the bubba be beacon? It's gonna be a little bit though. Do we really want to wait that long? We might not get our tie all in time. 
Then we have two two dice to, dice to work with. Until then, um, hold strong, I guess. I never got that fence closed up. Rip. Okay. There's another keep. Should I do it? Screw it. That, that it's just double as effective. Save the one for the beacon. This can't even generate uh, sun. That's from our. Oh my god. Cool, cool, cool. Food illusion cut. This, I don't, I shouldn't have done that. All right, here comes some damage. Right? So this is the one that can finally produce the sun. Oh my God, they're all just hitting the rock. That's the problem. I'm just hitting the rock. Want another workshop? Fine. Screw it all. Should use this, the cut when we can't. Oh my God, these guys suck. Okay, well that that helped a lot. Okay, all right, all right. We got a sun tile. For what it's worth. Whew! Terrifying. 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 Beacon. Okay. Uh, at this point, how do we even... How do we even fit it in? It's not everything actually in that radius, though, is it? I don't believe that. Cool shit I don't really care about anymore. Uh, I'm going to say both of those. I would love to make more houses at this point. Powder kegs are really nice as well at the moment. Oh, that's terrifying. Trebuchet. Oh, my God. I do want to... Barracks trains militia for every connected house. Ah, uh, It's cool, but is it too late to, like, to, to go for something like that? Oh, that's how it works, too. It's, it's very wide. You know what? Screw it. We'll try that out. That should be pretty decent. God, the fact that these towers hit the boulders, is, are, it's, that's truly what's ruining it, all of that. Shield generator. Sure. I think we can say screw this beacon at this point. Mega cut! <laughs> okay. Alright. Beacon did it tanked that pretty well, and now we should be able to fully just yeah. Good. Good, good. Maybe he'll throw a rock, maybe he won't. I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay. Oh. Well, that's not how I thought that would work. I thought that... <laughs> it makes sense. I just didn't think it would work like that. I've been playing this for an hour? Oh, my God. Oh, God. I do have to unfortunately call it. I mean I've been playing this for an hour. Bring him. Just bring him. This is so unbelievably my jam. But I am going to have to call it here. But this has been Lucky Town. It is going to be out. Yep, it, it's out. It'll be out by the time this video is out. It's five bucks. Or, or 
Uh, Sock Pop, you can support on Patreon. Uh, let me see. What is their what is their Patreon deal for the games right now? Uh, you can support on Patreon. And uh, I believe, what tier is it? What tier is it? At the $3 tier. For $3 on Patreon, you can support them and you get this game and another game for free. Like, I mean, it's for 3 bucks. You get their games every single month sent to you. Uh, you get the free download on, or the, like, the download code for Itch. Uh, I, I believe you get, yeah, you get the Itch download and you get a Steam key. So you can pick this game up for 3 bucks if you go support them on Patreon. Or you can get it on Steam for 5 bucks. But yeah, if you go for, if you do it through Patreon, I'll link both things. You will get this game and another game that they released. And if you subscribe on Patreon, you'll get a new game from them every single month. And if you're a new Patreon supporter, the bonus game that you get will be from their back catalog. So you can kind of like catch up. I know that the game's not visible anymore there. Um, but oh, I guess when I tab out, it just didn't show it. So basically, if you can, you can save two bucks by and get a bonus free game by supporting on Patreon to pick it up. Or you can get it for five bucks on Steam if you don't want to mess with that hassle. Link at the top description. This game is so good. I really like this. This is, I, this is my favorite sock pop game. I, I think this is their best work that I have played. Uh, there's a bunch of hits from like the long past that I have not checked out yet that I'm sure are fantastic as well. But this is so good. Like I, this is an omega hit for me. I cannot believe how solid it is like there's so much to play around with and work with i'm really into it i'm really really into it alas last though that is that that's gonna do it for today my name is retromation i cover indie games every single day boy if you like tower defense games this is definitely the channel for you right now i've covered quite a few of them recently new game every single day in your youtube inbox all you got to do is subscribe thank you everybody for watching thank you thank you like and comment down below. Hey, if you want to see more of this game, let me know down below. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.